part of the Strawberry Project is consumer awareness, and I think uh, the project has certainly brought awareness in the valley, uh, in this area, in terms of wanting or, or realizing that there could be some local strawberries they can purchase. So I think overall, I think the awareness in this project has been, you know, phenomenal. And uh, it was just an opportunity for them to promote the strawberries when they uh, were harvested. And uh, it was always a kind of a big deal. And uh, so uh, when they uh, started organizing to have a show and then eventually an auction, but for years and years, it's, it's just been, it has always been, and it continues to be a way to promote strawberries and the strawberry growers in our area and in Atascosa County. Our Farmers Market Association has a, a Facebook page. We also have a, an email list where we send out um, weekly emails to let people know what products will be at the market. So when something new is coming in, like the strawberries, they'll make a big deal of it. Like, hey, this week we're going to have strawberries. A couple of weeks ago, the first asparagus. Thank God the association does a good job on doing that here in this part of the county, or this kind of part of the state, actually. And we, most of the time I can't keep up with them. I can't supply everyone that wants berries. We've actually, um, we have our own uh, retail outlet, Earthborn Market. And uh, well, we've used uh, social media. We've done Facebook. We've done some other things to um, uh, get the word out. We've contacted some of our, our, our uh, people that come through our store. We've uh, word of mouth, uh, we've gone to the farmer's market and exposed people to what we are growing there as well and, and, and all in all it's all been successful. The chefs are really coming on board. We've got a very strong chefs association here uh, that's really developed in the last 10 years and uh, the chefs are uh, starting to put the name of the farmer on the menu and they're starting to get very involved in local food. Yeah, we have a couple of restaurant owners that shop regularly at the market, and I think that they're going to be pretty excited to see strawberries at the market, so I imagine you'll find them on restaurant menus too here in Fort Worth. In fact, a couple, about three weeks ago, we had a chef from Dallas that was down here uh, doing another story about some of the citrus and things that we grow, and so we had just been bringing strawberries in a few days, and we let him taste them, and he was he just couldn't believe that we could grow that quality of strawberry here in Texas, so he was very pleased. And so we'll be sending him some shortly for a little project he's doing in Dallas. Younger people are not finding it uh, something that they necessarily would like to do as far as agriculture is concerned, but we like to promote it. And we're trying to uh, get young people to come back in and to do it, and we're having a little bit of success, I'm proud to say. There's, there are young folks that are, that are coming up and, and trying to get in and um, continue to grow strawberries and you know, have, a, have a successful Pokeheed Strawberry Festival. I'm by myself, 2010, but I've been helping my dad since I was old enough to help. I, I pack, um, the, I cut runners, I water the plants. I've done a lot but I don't think we, any of us can take credit because it's our grandpa. He had the idea to do this, and so he was the person who made it come true. I help cut runners, I help cut, um, you know, so, and I help hoe and anything that my grandpa needs help with. So. They can't believe how juicy they are, how fresh they are, that they're red all the way through. I think uh, they have a lot better quality. I mean, you know, it's a good quality, a good taste. I really en enjoy getting the fresh ones from this area. And they're better than any others, I think. Our strawberries are red throughout. And that's part of the harvesting process because you're choosing them at the optimum time and they're coming off the vine, they're gonna be more flavorful. I want them to look fresh and ripe and just bright red. And of course my daughter, I want her to enjoy it. She tried it first and she wanted to buy tons. I think they want them, first of all, because they're organic, chemical free. Um, they love the idea of, of it being locally homegrown. That's something that, that is just people just really enjoy knowing 
where it comes from. There's just an appeal for something that is, you know, comes from maybe they don't have a garden or they've never gardened, but they love the idea of having the, their, what they're putting on their table come from someone else's garden. They are so good. We've had samples of them. We had a sampling a few days ago, and so that's why we were out here this morning early, because they are so good, fresh like this. Thank you.